Okay, my friends, I had an attempted break-in last night. This is the bottom of Mrs. P's door. This was bent all the way up here, like that. And then they tried to dig through up there and grab that rope. But I have that piece of wood that I got that idea from 65 Ford, sorry. So <clears throat> let me take you around to the other side. So it's quite bent, as you can see. So now I have to flatten out this section from here to here without damaging this ridge. Oops, without damaging this ridge here. Oh, bastards, eh? Drug addicts, probably. So I removed that piece of insulation, and now I'm just trying to flatten this out. I don't know what side to do it from. I'm actually tempted to get some uh, C-clamps and see if I can push it together with a piece of wood. Ooh, that's a good idea. So I'll keep you in touch. Okay, that's what it looks like from the inside. It's getting flatter. And then we'll just go to the outside and show you what I'm doing. Right there, big C-clamp. I'm gonna move it down now to see if I can bring the ridge down from here where it's bent in. Weird, eh? You know, that's pretty, it's already getting better, but I'm still PO'd. So do you see that board right there? That stops guys from grabbing that red cord. Let's just go around the front, or the back. Okay, so here we are at the back. It closes down there now, right? And they didn't get in, man. Thanks, 65 Ford. This has been tried once here. Right there. That's a taller door though, right? But that's not bad. A couple of tweaks. So it's, you see right there it's, where it's high? On the other side it's low. So I think that whole lip needs to be bent a little bit. And then a couple of self-tapping screws from the, from the uh, weather stripping up. Because I can't go the other way. Alright. Okay. So you see that bend in that bracket up there? I'm going to take that off and straighten it while I got the opportunity. It's looking pretty good down here. Like I've got the insulation taken out, so that's all right. And I can probably put it in upside down so it doesn't look quite so disgusting. So let me just get that out. I don't know if I can do that with you guys on or not. I'm running out of tables. Eh? Let's just show you what I'm up to. There's a cotter pin here first. Which one is it? Is there two edges? Yep. Oh, that's hard. Nothing's freaking easy, guys. Yeah. There we go. Okay, I gotta put you down. Sorry. Okay, so I used an old piece of T-stock to bend that straight. Looks pretty good. Might as well fix it. Okay, I'm just gonna start painting it now. I'm only gonna do a couple of coats of primer because the rest of the garage is pretty faded any, or garage door. It's pretty faded anyway, and uh, yeah, oh, that's stiff. Not interesting. Oh yeah. yeah, well, and it probably takes the shape of the concrete down there. <laughs> so I'm just going to paint this here, touch up there, and then you know where they tried to get in up top. I'll just do a little bit of fine, fine touching there. 
Arr! What's that old saying? Looks okay at 10 feet. I might put a tiny bit more down pressure on the door now because I was jigging with that bracket as well. But I tried to touch up the spots up there, but it's, you know, it's off colored in many places. But at least we have some kind of a line there down there now where it was punched right up before. That took me two or three hours. I should have kept my paint out for that. Because the SOBs are doing it there too, eh? Yeah. You gotta build a fortress. And look what I do. And not like this just helps. I'm not saying it's a cure. And it's an eight foot climb from the alley and a six foot climb down. So, most people who are tweakers or whatever are lazy. Thank you, Mr. Barr. Okay. Gotta clean up. 